In Psalm 18, 28, it says, For it is you who light my lamp. The Lord my God lightens my darkness. For it is you who light my lamp. The Lord my God enlightens my darkness. One of the favorite stations I like to stop and pause and meditate is Station 10. It's over there. And that is when Jesus is stripped of his garments, when they tear his garments. So Jesus was bleeding. The garments were probably in his skin. And when they tore those garments, it probably tore part of his skin, the suffering of Christ. And I think about that a lot because, well, he's God. And he has... The, the angels adore him, and here he is, stripped of all the goods he's given to us. He's stripped of it by his own creation. His own creation takes what he gave as a gift, and they strip it off of him, uh, and he suffers because of it. And like blessed John Henry Newman, he says that Jesus closed the doors of his divinity when he entered into um, the agony, into the Paschal mystery. So he entered into the depths of our suffering. Why? Well, one, to give us a pathway back to the Father to atone for sin, but also to give us an example, an example of how to follow him. And many times we come to the Lord for things that we want, things that we get, and that's wonderful. When the Lord blesses us with wonderful gifts, he gives us a sunny day, and our hearts are filled with joy, those are wonderful. But also, the Lord is still with us when our lamps are not lit, when we have darkness. This is still a pathway the Lord is with us and calling us into a deeper union with him, that he is with us, And so he allows us to enter trials into difficulties because he wants to basically empty us so that it's just him who will fulfill us. He wants our our lamp not to be lit because we light it with things of the world, with our own self-securities, with our own systems of security. So he allows it to not be lit so that in faith we can say, only you can light my lamp, Lord. I am completely empty. And then that day will come where he will give us that light. And how, what a treasure that light will be when we receive it, when we have in faith looked to Jesus even in darkness, even in emptiness, and then he lights that lamp. And that light breaks out from the darkness. That's what happened to Christ when he rose from the dead. But he went through the darkness. He allowed the lamp to not be lit. He was stripped of everything he had. And then he rose from the dead. And that same darkness was experienced by the apostles. And then when they saw the resurrected Lord, they were filled with such a witness of his love and goodness that they went to the cross for him. So let us keep our eyes on Christ in faith. And if our lamps are not lit, if we're entering some trial or darkness, praise God for that. He's emptying us so that only he can fulfill us.